I don't want you to just take my word for how good this platform is. So a few weeks ago, we called up a handful of companies. And we asked them if they would send out a couple engineers each to see what they could accomplish in two weeks on an SDK that they'd never seen before. In fact, most of them had never touched a Mac for development before. And they did, and what they accomplished blew me away. I mean, it's just fantastic. And so instead of having me talk you through it, I've asked the engineers who came out and wrote these applications to tell you in their own words what they accomplished. We'll start with electronic arts. Every gamer knows all about electronic arts. You know, for their great applications they've written for computers and for consoles. Electronic arts is also the industry leader in developing and producing games for mobile devices. I'm happy to invite up Travis Boatman to talk you through their experiences with the iPhone SDK. Travis? Hi, everybody. So the first thing we wanted to say is thank you to Apple for inviting us to join in with this SDK process. Um, and given that we only had two weeks, we wanted to do something that took advantage of a lot of the different features of the device. Um, everything from the touch screen to the accelerometer. Um, we wanted to have uh, video and audio. Um, we want to have a game that described all of that. So the game that we chose was a game that we have in production called Spore. And the idea of Spore is it's about taking a microorganism from the primordial soup at the bottom of the ocean and helping it evolve and grow and survive in, in this, this interesting world we have. So you can see the spore here in the center of the screen, and, and the way that we chose to, to control the spore was to use the iPhone's um, accelerometer. So you can see John using the accelerometer here to tilt it right and left and get some of that motion that you saw earlier in that previous demo. Um, the basic uh, goal of the game is to take the spore and eat anything smaller than you and avoid anything larger than you. Uh, if you do a good job of that, you're rewarded by what we call the evolution editor. And the evolution editor is a great place for us to take advantage of a lot of the touchscreen capabilities of this device. So we've gone from sort of the accelerometer, and now we're playing with the touch. Um, what's so great about the, this is it allows you to customize the game in two different ways. First, we're going to customize the gameplay a little bit. So John's going to go in here, and using his finger, he's just going to go ahead and touch the offensive tract. And he's going to add in a pair of uh, formidable-looking mandibles here on the front of our spore. So you see those up here on the front. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to play with a little bit of a creative personalization here. Now this part is more about making the spore look cool and interesting and has less to do with the gameplay. But he's going to go ahead and use his finger and just start moving stuff around. So I think he's going to move the eyes forward here. And he's just touching and moving these forward. So imagine, this is all we've done in about two weeks, but if we had a lot of time, you could imagine us stretching the spore out and adding colors and really making this like a, almost like a play area to people to personalize their spores. So let's go ahead and bring that spore back into the game. Now I'll talk a little bit about development. You notice we're moving from level uh, 15 to level 16. And when we first came and we sat down and started working with the framework, it took us about two days to get Coco Touch up and running. Once we had that up and running, we were then able to bring in our entire uh, game development and uh, got the whole game up and running. So we're only really demonstrating a couple of levels here in the editor, but we have actually all 18 net levels up and running. We have the full editor. In fact, John and I were sitting here playing and creating all these different kinds of spores and experimenting with what we, th what we thought might look interesting to show you all today. Um, it was really a lot of fun. In fact, the accelerometer was so comfortable, we were showing it to a bunch of Apple employees so they could get a sense of it. And they really liked playing with it. And lastly, we wanted to experiment with the video capability, so we threw in a little cutscene here at the end just to show you what we could do by tossing in a video of our customized sport making his way happily out into the, into the world. And that's Spore from Electronic Arts. Thanks. Awesome. That was two weeks of work. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you've read a lot about Spore, and in two weeks, they got all of that up and running on the iPhone SDK. It's fantastic.